right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Francia, and this is Duke. Um, today, we're going to do a nice short meditation and pranayama practice. We're going to start with the pranayama practice, and the meditation will just be part of what we move through as we um, start to learn a couple of new pranayama um, exercises. So we're going to start. The first one is Kapalabhati breathing. And Kapalabhati breathing is where we pump in the belly. So uh, we force the breath out, we exhale and draw the breath in tightly through the belly. So it's, and then we release the abdomen completely. We let the belly be soft and then inhale again or exhale again and then release and then release and then release. So we do this, um, start nice and slow, just like, and then we're gonna do a round of breath retention and then we'll repeat it again a little bit faster. We'll try to do three total rounds. So let's start with those. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, soften the shoulders, close the eyes. You can take your hands into chin mudra if you like. Nice deep inhale, nice slow gentle exhale. Again, deep breath in. Slow breath out. One more time, deep breath in. Slow breath out. With the next inhale, we'll prepare for Om. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, and we'll prepare for the first round. Inhale, begin. Exhale fully. Inhale comfortably. And see if you can retain or hold the breath. Soften the shoulders, soften the body. Calm the mind. Slowly exhale, releasing all the breath out. And then take a few rounds of natural breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Again, deep breath in, slow breath out, keeping the spine tall, shoulders back. Remember when you retain or hold the breath, you want to hold comfortably. So you don't want to feel pressure in your face or head or neck or shoulders. You want to feel relaxed as you gently just sustain the breath in. We'll go for the second round beginning with Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin.
الفن slow breath out and again inhale for the breath retention holding the breath lungs full soft shoulders relaxed body tall spine soft face Slowly begin to exhale the breath out if you haven't already. Inhale again, relax the abdomen. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Checking in with your body as you continue to breathe. Allowing yourself to move at your own pace, stopping when you feel you need to, never forcing, never creating pressure or tension. We'll prepare for the last round. So remember the Kapalabhati breath allows you to pull the lower abdomen in. So if you'd like for this last round, you can place your right hand on your abdomen and feel as the, as the exhale breath Pulls the abdomen in, and then it just expands naturally. We don't force the inhale, we just force the exhale. That's our focus. So inhale deeply and begin. Exhale, breath out. You can relax your right hand, relax the abdomen, lengthen through the spine, soften the shoulders, steady your breath. Preparing for the last breath retention, inhale deeply. Retain the breath. Slowly and gently begin to exhale the breath out. Inhale again, deep breath in. Exhale again, slow breath out. Before we move into our Nadi Shodana, we will practice a little bit of Uriyana Bandha. So this is where we hollow out through the upper abdomen, so above the belly button. You can place your hands on your knees, kind of curl your tailbone under slightly. And then as you exhale, soften the shoulders and then take a false breath in. So you're not actually breathing in, you're just drawing the energy up and in, keeping the exhale breath out, holding the exhale breath. So inhale 
Exhale. And draw up and in. Release as you exhale, as you inhale. Good, so that's a little bit tough to do. Remember, you wanna feel like you're drawing up and in, like you're pulling everything underneath your rib cage. And you wanna hold the breath out. So we're not breathing in when we do this. We exhale and then retain the breath with the exhale breath. So let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Draw up and in. Release it. Inhale again. Good. So if you find that difficult, you can always come back to the video and practice um, on your own. We're going to do one last time. I know it takes a little bit of effort. Let's give it one more shot. Inhale. Exhale. Draw up and in. Release, inhale, and exhale. Good job. So just a couple of rounds of breath here. If you need to change the position of your legs, maybe bring your other foot in front just to keep it even. All right, the last pranayama breath we'll practice today is Nadi Shodana. So finding that comfortable seated position once more. We'll take the right hand into Vishnu Mudra, thumb and index fingers down, or thumb out, ring finger, pinky finger out, index finger and ring fingers down towards the heel of your hand. And just place your hand at your heart here for a moment. The left hand can be in Vishnu Mudra, palm facing up, or palm facing down if that's more comfortable for you. Now from here, we're gonna use the only the right hand to close and open the nostrils. So the right thumb is gonna use go to the right uh, nostril, and we're going to inhale to the left. And then we're going to close the left nostril, exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. Close the right nostril, exhale to the left. Inhale left, close the left nostril with the ring finger, open the right and exhale. Good. Inhale right, close the right nostril and exhale left. Inhale left, close the left, open right, exhale. Inhale, Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale, left, last round. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Releasing the right hand down to your right knee. Breathing now through both nostrils. Notice and observe how the body feels after our breathing practice. Notice if the left and right side of your body feels even or a little bit more connected. Be sure that you're nice and grounded through your sits bones, that your spine is tall and straight. We'll just stay here for a few moments of mindfulness before we finish our practice. your mind begins to wander or move away from the sensations of the body in this immediate moment, wandering into to-do lists and past situations or future situations that you might need to be worried about, allow yourself just a moment with this next inhale to come back. Come back to this space that you are seated in. Come back to the softness of your jaw and the shoulders. Allow yourself just a few more moments of stillness, of silence.
Next, inhale breath. We'll draw our palms together at the center of our heart, symbolizing that union of body, of mind, and of spirit. Allow yourself a few moments of gratitude here as you finish up your practice. Inhale to prepare for OM. Namaste.